Welcome to NADFL channel. Today we bring you two latest news. Now let's come to the first news. Miami Dolphins signed former UTEP quarterback Kai Loxley. The Miami Dolphins may be in the midst of signing established talents to their roster via free agency, but that doesn't mean the team is able to resist the temptation of turning over a stone or two along the way. And that seems to be exactly what the Dolphins have done over the weekend with the news that the team had agreed to terms and signed former UTEP quarterback Kai Loxley to a contract as a wide receiver in the NFL. Loxley last played in college in 2019, completing 56.9% of his passes that season for the minors with a college passer rating of 124.0 on the season. Loxley is reported to be quite the athlete. NFL draft scout logged his UTEP Pro Day numbers with some impressive figures, vertical jump, 38 inches. Broad jump, 10.06. Three cone shuttle, 7.07s. All logged with Loxley checked in at nearly 6 foot 4 and 209 pounds back in Arch of 2020. Formerly a four-star quarterback and commit to Texas, Loxley transferred several times throughout the course of his college career and struggled at times with off-field conduct, including an arrest in 2019 for DWI, marijuana and weapons charges. But with the off-season upon us, this is the time for the Dolphins to bring on troubled young talents and see if they can tap into athletic potential while also helping to provide some structure. In some cases, like that of former Titans and Dolphins tackle Isaiah Wilson, things don't work. But there's no risk in bringing in young athletes in need of direction at this point in time. And every so often you'll find yourself a good football player along the way. Time will tell which side of the coin Loxley falls on. The next news that we bring to you is, Devonta Smith and the wide receiver draft question. The University of Alabama is such a prospect factory that the school is having not one but two pro days this year. The first one was Monday and it included perhaps the school's top 2021 draft prospect, wide receiver Devonta Smith. He's a player who's been linked to the Miami Dolphins for a while, both because of his incredible 2020 season that ended with him winning the Heisman Trophy in a national championship and his connection with former Bama teammate Tua Tungavailoa. Smith said during his pre-draft media session that he would not do any drills at the Alabama Pro Day, but give teams the chance to take his measurements something he refused when he attended, but did not play in, the Senior Bowl. Based on what he did last season, Smith certainly doesn't need to prove anything in terms of his on-field ability. The only question about Smith, really, concerns his lack of size, he was listed at 6-1, to 1, 175 during his time at Alabama. Smith very obviously doesn't care for the topic and he evaded the question about how much he weighed when first asked, saying it was the same as it was at the Senior Bowl. When he pressed, he said he weighed 170 pounds. Even though he didn't play in the Senior Bowl, Smith got to spend the week working with the Dolphins coaching staff. Asked about that experience Monday, Smith just said he liked the experience of going through a game week NFL style without commenting about Brian Flores and his staff specifically. Likewise, Smith didn't directly answer a question about the possibility of being reunited with Tungavailoa with the Dolphins, saying their conversations go beyond football. Smith remains a clear possibility for the Dolphins, though as we discussed earlier, the idea of taking him at number 3 overall might be a bit of a stretch. In fact, it says here that taking any wide receiver 3rd overall might not be the best way to maximize the value of that pick if the Dolphins don't end up trading it. If they do end up moving out of the third spot and moving back, say, to either 8, 9 or 12, then a wide receiver would seem a lot likelier option and Smith then might fit into the picture. Smith certainly would merit strong consideration if he were to still be available at number 18, which once seemed unthinkable but might become a possibility if NFL teams starting getting nervous about Smith's potential durability.